Welcome back to another video guys and we are back on to finishing up the front end swap on the Magnum. So if you didn't watch the last video, you could probably go back and do that. Uh, when I bought my Magnum, it had a 300 front end on it. Uh, I wanted to go back to a three or to a Magnum front end. So I found one for a good price, same color. Everything actually matches now, which the old one did not. And there's things about it I don't like. Headlights, already talked about in the last video. This video, I'm going to be working on a grill solution, probably modifying the lower grill and working on a lower lip. Um, not looking too shabby. Like I said, this is it. This is basically in the camera how I kind of want it to look. But we just need a little bit of mesh in these grills because I mean you can see, depending on the lighting, all of the other stuff in there. So I'm okay if the intercooler pops through, but not a fan of all the other stuff being able to see that. And then the splitter. This, I'll try and find some pictures. This was on the car with the 300 front end when I bought it. It was this aggressive. It's just too much. So, um, God, three, maybe, I guess it was four years ago when I bought the car. Before I blew up the second motor, I ended up... Um, me and one of the other guys started to uh, modify this so that it didn't sit as deep and then the car blew up and it just sat in my shed and then I got the car running last year and just never it wasn't high on the priority list but now that I'm doing body stuff I'm back on it so here we are this honestly just needs to get shifted back and the one other thing we were looking at that we weren't a huge fan of see it on camera here but there's a line here which might work with this bumper better but we were going to try and find someone with a brake and bend this up to give it a little little style or something but if i push this back i think we might may not have to do that on this one because i'm going to end up pushing it back and then trimming you know so that it sits flush with here we'll move it back i'll trim I forget how far we could do it. And then I gotta trim some stuff underneath too. And then it comes with the, there was another panel that was kind of underneath the middle. So I'm gonna do a little, this is where it was factory, or not factory, but when I got it. So I'm gonna shift it back, you know, hell probably three inches at least. So I'm definitely overthinking it, but it's one of those I'm like, ah, I did two and a half, I measured it three. I think two and a half is just, well, like, I measured two and a half and I measured two and a, or three inch, and I'm just, I don't know. It still looks aggressive. And I wanna bring it in, you know, a little more just so it tucks better. But like I said, my big concern is with the stay, I wanna mount it there. And from the side view, I want a little bit, you know, of a backwards angle. You know, I definitely don't want it like the old car or when it was on the 300 front end. It was like this into, you know, the bumper, which then puts that point almost straight. So I want to go underneath give myself a little bit of a rearward, you know, pull. And if I push this back, so if I move the whole, you know, front splitter back anymore, it's gonna start to really straighten up. So I think I'm just sticking with it. This is what I got, this little work. And uh, now I just need to figure out the holes for the middle bit, which 
trim the back up so that it's flush with the, uh, uh, yeah, the bumper here. Because right now it's sticking out and in. I also want to, I'm probably going to trim a little bit in here then. I just want to make sure that clears the tire. I'll end up putting the fender well back in just to make sure, you know, see where everything lines up there. But I'm at least going to trim, you know, an inch. So that it lines up real nice with this, uh, with this right here. Next thing I'm doing is I'm jumping in real quick to the, uh, the grill. So this is the grill as it comes. Um, you saw the last video, not a fan of this look. So the whole grill area needs a bit of a little more pizzazz than this. So my thought is take these grills off because these panels mount from the back side of said, uh, you know, in the back of the bumper. They come in from behind, snap forward. So my plan is I'm going to come in here and basically take each one of these, you know, louvers, whatever, away, each one of those rails, top and bottom here. And that will just give me two big openings. This is all behind the cross hatch, like the cross hairs of the grill. Um, so I'm going to cut those apart and get me ready for, I ordered some honeycomb. I'm still waiting for it to show up. Amazon, you know, supposed to be here two days ago. Delayed, delayed. That was pretty easy. Um, sometimes it's the simplest things to uh, do a quick job. Now, all I want to do is all the nubs that are left, I'm probably going to come back in with razor blade, um, some kind of knife, maybe even a chisel, and a uh, file. And I will make that all smooth and come right back. I am pretty happy with that for, uh, you know, a good base to start. I just uh, really hope that mesh comes in soon. But before and after, I think it cleaned up pretty well. Got those tabs off of there. Used a combination of a uh, razor blade, a chisel, a file, and some sandpaper. So... So it's been two, three weeks since I uh, filmed the last set of clips. We had uh, Drifters December there, but I am getting back into the front end on the Magnum. It's much colder. We are inside the garage, but also much, much later. So, first things first. Well, I do have new headlights, so those will be pretty easy to swap in. Those things are absolutely terrible hideous. I have no use for them. And you can also see, you know, because they're cheap, they're starting to have some uh, clear code issues there. But first thing I want to do tonight, because I've got today and tomorrow that I kind of want to finish this up. First thing I want to do is the grills. So I ordered some grill material and I'm going to pull that out. I did some quick measuring on it already. And I want to get that stuff trimmed and glued up. That way it can dry overnight. That way everything is ready for tomorrow. And I can kind of install it all once I finish the other things. Because bumper has to come off to do the headlights and such. So this is what I found. I found this company. Customcargrills.com um, Tried ordering something off eBay first. It never showed up. Um, that was... Over a week after it was supposed to be here, never showed up, refunded. Ordered from here. A little more expensive, 
Um, I think it was like $70 for this piece. However, in my opinion, you know, you see some people use like chicken wire, but it looks like chicken wire. It doesn't look, you know, OEM, professional. Like I've used it before. It works for some smaller vents, some motorsporty stuff, but this I'm actually really happy with the quality that I got here. So if you look at this, just a big old grid of, you know, a hexagon style grill material. And it's plastic. It's also, you know, really fairly thick. So it doesn't look thin, flimsy. It honestly reminds me a lot of an OEM style grill material. So I'm hoping this is, uh, I mean, I don't think this is going to be the easiest thing because I have to really watch my cuts. This is one piece. Here's the other piece. I'm going to cut them so that they sit right into the openings really nicely. But if you look at how those two pieces sit on there, honestly, you'd be like, okay, not terrible. However, I also want to do this one. I want to cut this middle bar out um, and then put the mesh behind here. I think that'll look a lot better. Piece is cut, super easy. All I did was use a pair of dikes. For now, that is a good enough rough cut to get everything, you know, sized close. Now, I'm not dealing with a full sheet. This one, I have to wait till the bumper comes off. These two, I'm just gonna start with one and I'm gonna start trimming. On to the actual, uh, you know, the actual grow piece. So this is starting to give a good idea of what this will look like when it's done. And to me, that looks pretty, uh, that looks pretty factory, OEM style. Yeah. All silicone, or, uh, yeah, JB Welded. I just used a JB Weld Quick Set Clear. I was hoping for black. Um, kind of wish I had, like, Honda Bond or something like that, but could not find that around. So, here we are. Glued, ready to set overnight. Even though it does say, well, cure overnight. Uh, says it sets in five minutes and cures in an hour. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back in an hour and try and glue up the other one. But I kind of don't think I have enough uh, epoxy left. So, I may grab another one of those. In between another one of those, what's left in here and what's left in the other one, I'll be able to do the other grill and the uh, bumper, but I'm probably gonna take that stuff. Probably gonna pull the bumper, headlights, all that stuff off right now while uh, that is curing. Crappy old headlights out, or not even old, just eBay specials type of deal. And now, I mean, these aren't OEM or anything, but Eagle Eyes are a pretty decent replacement brand. So there is plastic on it, that's why it looks scratched. But nice set of black housinged stock style headlights. 
And then I have some LED bulbs over here to go in that came out of the 300 front end. So these are gonna look way cleaner than those things. And that is much better. Now we're not gonna get the full look here or the full effect until we get uh, you know, the whole front end back together. But that is gonna clean these up, but that already cleaned this up. So much better than those uh, eBay specials. So, headlights are done. We got that grill still uh, setting and curing. Not too bad. On video, it definitely looks uh, looks pretty good. Looks, looks pretty OEM to me. Uh, it's one of those, once you get into some of the details, that you're like, eh. Since I had to cut out here, it doesn't have that same lip around it. Same up top. I don't think it's terribly noticeable, especially from, you know, 5, 10 feet away. But it's bowed a tiny bit. And then I ended up actually breaking the epoxy up top because it wasn't, the shape wasn't what it should have been. So I'm going to probably, once this is on, re-glue it or re-epoxy the parts that kind of broke now that it's physically on and in the right shape. And I kind of want to see if I can modify how I do the other side. Everything is JB welded in place. Haven't turned it around yet, so we're gonna get a, get a first look here, see if this uh, actually looks like it's supposed to, at least in my head. And then I got one more finishing touch for the grill section of this. Now that is a lot better. Headlights are better. I'm trying to get the right lighting angle here for the camera. At least from here, it looks pretty much factory, which is what I was going for. And then lower grill, same. Everything is in, factory looking. I'm gonna pull it back off real quick, and I got that one last finishing touch. Can't forget the gross creator badge. That was on the car when I bought it, and honestly, I think it's funny. And I don't know. I don't know if I would have ever bought it and put it on, but since I have it and it was on and it's kind of part of the car now, had to get moved over to the new dash. It's also not an SRT, so it has that essence of an SRT badge because that's where that's placed, but, you know, a little more fun. So I ended up just getting into it and didn't really film a lot, but I got the front lip back on. Now, the only thing I have to decide is if it stays raw aluminum or if I paint it black. Like, I like that it kind of sticks out, but it is, there's very few things on the car that are, you know, silver or aluminum. There's kind of really that front badge. The Hemi ones are on these fenders, but those are probably going to come off. So, this, to me, is a much better look than what, uh, one, a stock Dodge Magnum front end looks like. I am super happy with it. I am ready for, well, uh, I guess a hood. Um, you know, that would be the only thing to make this a little bit better. But headlights better. Custom grill. Looks the part. Got the lip back on. The lip hasn't been on in years at this point, but it sat in the yard for two and a half years, three years, broken, needing a motor. So... This thing's getting a lot closer to where I want it to be. Only thing I'm really, really missing now is a fuel system. And I just got to save the money up for that, get a fuel system together, and then get it retuned. So, should make 650 ish when it's done. I think we stopped on the dyno when we ran out of fuel system at like 550 So, probably going to throw in some clips here, heading to work. New tires, everything on it. This thing is good to go. Also, huge shout out to, this is customcargrills.com. This is the grill material that I bought that I'm 
super happy with. Um, you know, the look I was going for was OEM style. So this definitely a lot better than doing, you know, chicken wire that just looked kind of industrial. You know, they have a whole bunch of options, different styles, shapes, sizes. So I didn't get sponsored by them for anything. This is all just, I like the product. Huge shout out to customcargrills.com. Happy with this. This is the first day I got to actually stand back and look at it. I'm happy with that. Absolutely happy with that.